West Coast midfielder Scotty Selwood says he's received the perfect blueprint to beat Hawthorne on Sunday. Sam Butler and Mitch Brown come into the team to boost the defence while Brad Dalzier was rewarded for his waffle form. And Callum Sinclair has been upgraded from the rookie list. Tim Hipsley with more. Joel Selwood was the man that engineered a stirring second half comeback for the Cats against Hawthorne. Well, he's willing them back here, isn't he, the captain? And his younger brother Scott not only took note, but got some first-hand tips off the man himself on how to break down the Hawks. His last ten minutes has just been exceptional. Just got a few general things off him. Um, playing pretty similar positions, it's good to get a bit of a feel of what he thinks works and, and doesn't work. So he's been pretty helpful this week. They were the two premiership favourites a fortnight ago. Now West Coast and Hawthorne are fighting to avoid a slow start to their season. The Eagles with an extra week's break to let their round one loss to Frio sink in. It, it does hurt a fair bit and you know you always after a loss you want to get out there straight away so it has uh, had time to sink in and uh, the players are pretty eager to get back out there and, and patch things up. Mitch Brown returns to the Eagles 22 with a matchup on Buddy Franklin looming. It's been a whirlwind off season for the defender, having his request to be traded to St Kilda denied. Yeah, Mitch has been awesome. His attitude when he came back to training was amazing and uh, he's, he's a first class teammate. And he knows where he stands and he fights every week, whether it's in the Waffle or AFL. After continually impressing for Subiaco in the Waffle, rookie Callum Sinclair gets his chance on the big stage to partner Dean Cox in the ruck. We've been fortunate enough to, that Nick Nat hasn't been in, so we've actually seen a fair bit of him. He's got an absolutely ruthless nature and he's really competitive at the footy and, and at, the, at the contest, so um, he'll give everything on the weekend. Hawthorne arrived tomorrow with doubts still surrounding the fitness of captain Luke Hodge, despite being named Tim Hipsley, 10 News.